Everyone saying Apple played it safe at WWDC 25. No shiny new hardware, no AGI level hype, just some translucent buttons and a better Siri. Correct? Some of them even remembered Steve Jobs and said if he was alive, he would have fired the entire team at Apple. Dead wrong. This was Apple's most ambitious software update in decades. Quietly, methodically, Apple just redefined what the next decade of computing looks like. And it's not about chasing the AI race. It's about reshaping the entire user experience. Let's break it down. Liquid glass is not just design, it's strategy Apple introduced. Liquid glass, a stunning new design language that now flows across iOS 26, Mac OS Tahoe, iPad OS 26, Watch OS 26, TV OS 26 and Vision OS 26. But this isn't just a design refresh. It's Apple laying the foundation for spatial computing where the lines between 2D screens and 3D environments blur. Inspired by Vision Pro, Liquid Glass creates visual depth, transparency and consistency across platforms. It's no coincidence that every OS now shares the same version, the number 26, and the same visual identity. Apple is unifying the ecosystem like never before. Apple Intelligence AI that actually represents you, while competitors showcased AI agents writing code or generating videos, Apple did something more personal. On-device intelligence that writes emails, summarizes notifications and helps you edit photos. App-level understanding that can take actions inside your apps, like adding to a note or playing a podcast via Spotlight. Visual intelligence that lets you take a screenshot then ask what's in it or shop based on what you're looking at. And yes, ChatGPT is now integrated into Siri, but only when needed and only with your permission. This isn't a chatbot with a memory problem, sometimes the ones I face. This is a context-aware, privacy-respecting AI that actually works. Apple's Greg Joswiak recently said, there's no app called Apple Intelligence. You just use your phone and it works smarter. That's our goal. The best part is that Apple's foundational model framework also opens up the local LLM for free to any app. Siri isn't dead, it's reborn. Siri has been the butt of jokes for years, but in 2025, it's getting its second win. Now powered by Apple Intelligence and supported by OpenAI's ChatGPT, when needed, Siri is more natural in conversations, context-aware, visually grounded. It understands what you were doing on screen, in apps or on calls and responds accordingly. It's like finally having an assistant who actually listens. In a recent WSJ interview, Craig Federighi, Senior VP of Software Engineering said, we had working software, real LLM, real semantic search, but it didn't hit our quality bar. And shipping something unreliable? That's not Apple. Ahead of WWDC, Apple even released a paper called The Illusion of Thinking. How the so-called reasoning models do not truly reason. We covered this on the front page. Make sure to check it out, link is in the bio. A software super cycle begins. Apple also launched a set of new features that, on their own, would be headline grabbing. iPhone mirroring on Mac. Use your phone while it's locked straight from your Mac. Live translations on FaceTime and phone calls. Real-time, two-way translation, text and audio. Apple Games app, a unified destination for all your games across iPhone, iPad and Mac. Game Center finally gets good. This is going to change how people are going to engage in the coming months, like challenging your friends, typing indicators in group chats, polls in iMessage, and smarter spam filtering. And developers? Apple just gave them direct access to its on-device LLM, 
No need for cloud APIs, reducing costs and improving speed. This is truly massive. It means AI will soon be baked into every app you use with speed, privacy and personalization. Vision OS gets widgets and continuity. Vision OS 26 is here and it brings home screen widgets that persist in real world positions. A new photos widget for spatial memories. More continuity features that link your Vision Pro to your other Apple devices. The bottom line? WWDC 25 wasn't loud, it was deliberate. And it marks the beginning of something much bigger. Apple didn't just revamp design, they rewired how we interact with machines. Liquid glass isn't about translucent eye candy. It's about depth, liquidity and interfaces that feel alive. Where elements float, adapt and disappear when not needed. This is Apple's first real move towards multi-model, screenless computing. A world where user interface is no longer static or flat, but dimensional, responsive and human. So no, this isn't Windows Vista 2.0. This is a software super cycle in disguise. Apple didn't join the AI hype war. They have very quietly redrawn the battlefield. Let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe. Make a habit of doing that. And always remember, think AI, think AIM.